everybody. Welcome back with Cooking with Nana. Today I am going to make um, steamed chicken and in Lao we call mok gai. So I have my daughter here to help me with. So this is what we have. We have the chicken, one whole chicken. I use this brand of chicken and then we chopped it into a small piece. We, after you chopped it, rinse it, wash it real good. And then we have a gizzard. I have a gizzard slice and a liver. Um, you don't want to chop it too small piece. You want like a medium size. And there's some heart. And you can slice in half. Um, if you don't want to use the gizzard, the liver, or the heart, the part of the, um, of the chicken, you don't have to. You can just use just chicken by itself and the chicken you can use um, chicken breast the thigh and stuff you can use different kind of chicken but I prefer using this kind it brings out more flavor into my um, mokai and then um, I leave the bone in there and the ingredients I have is I have one third cup of um, padak this is the brand I use and I have fish sauce. My fish sauce right here, it's um, three tablespoons of fish sauce and my MSG. MSG is one teaspoon. You don't have to use MSG. It's an option. If you don't like MSG, you don't have to. You can just put a little bit just to bring a people likes it. And then my salt, I have a half tablespoon of salt and I have chili pepper. And the chili pepper is like, I have 12 in here. Um, this depends how spicy you want it. You want less spice, you can just put, you know, like two, three, four, five. And if you want more spice, just add more pepper into it. And I have um, my soaked sticky rice. The soap, um, the rice has already been soaked. It's soft. And then this one, I use half cup of my soaked rice. I wash and let it soak for like, you know, hour or in half and then drain it and this is how it will look like. And the cap lime leaf, I use um, 15 leaves of this. And then I slice it real thin for it. See how thin, it's like a... And then I have um, red, small red shallot. I use this probably 20 of small and slice it. And then my lemongrass. Lemongrass, I use three. The three long sticks of lemongrass. So I slice it and this is the dill. And this is how it looks like. And the dill I use one and a half cup. I will cut the rest of this and make like this. If if you don't like the dill, you can use this other called pak, pak itu. It's the other herbs. But it's sometimes it's hard to find that. It's the same as and then and I have the banana leaf. I um, washed it and cut it and um, clean it real nice and my foil, I need to use foil for it and then my um, noodle, it's, it's called selan so it's, um, it's kind of this thin noodle it's an option, if people like to put selan on their chicken, steamed chicken, they can if they don't like it, you don't have to, but I will show you half of them with the noodle and half of them with that, so we're gonna start doing the mixing all the culture, Lao culture. We use um, this coke and sock. It's the thing that you smash your herb because they before they don't have that blender. So it's best to do smash it to bring all that herbs and all the ingredients in together so it smells. So I'm using all this and the red onions if you don't have this, you can use the blender also if you want. And then I'm going to use, um, because I have a lot of chicken, so I'm going to probably use 10 of my pepper. And my salt, remember, I'm going to mix it into one teaspoon, no, um, half tablespoon of salt in here. And my MSG, a one teaspoon. And my daughter, she will smash it for me. Okay. Like first, you know, I'm going to show her 
you just smash it like this. Keep smashing until it's all smooth. So let's see how it looks, Talina. Okay, her smashing would be kind of like this. That would be okay. As long as smash and you can smell the um, lemongrass, the um, red shallot, and the pepper together. So this is all done. Now I'm gonna have my chicken in one big Okay. The gizzard. And so it's a pan if you like gizzard, liver, you know, you can put it in. Okay. Nina, can you bring the put the herbs in here for mommy? I know it burns her eye because of the of the shallot. Okay, and I'm gonna have her finish smash the rice for me in here. So the rice is half cup of rice. Smash it? Yes, baby. Okay, once she does that, I'm gonna get um, my um, half lime leaf in here. Keep smashing until you don't see the piece of it. And then my fish sauce, I am using one tablespoon. Um, yeah, you can do it on the floor. And then um, and then my padak, I'm gonna use one third. If you don't want to use padak, you can use just salt. You know, or you can use fish sauce. But then for me, I like to use padak just a little bit to bring the flavor into it. It's just like, you know, in in our country, in Laos, we like, you know, in Laos, we like to do a lot of um, with padak. It just brings a little bit of flavor to our cooking. So you mix it in. So I'm gonna get my rice. Smash the rice. It's all smashed. She's gonna pour, put it somewhere on my chicken. See how? Okay. You see how? Good. The, put all of it. The rice that we put in to make the chicken more um, kind of like stick together. Okay. Put in all of it that you smashed. I'm just going to put the dill. I'm going to slice it. All in here. The rest of it. Mix it all in together. Get all that ingredients, everything, all the herbs mixed well. Okay. And I said I'm mixing, I'm showing you two ways. Some people put um, Ceylon is the noodle in here. But then in our um, you in Laos, some um, um, the old um, people that lives 
it's, they don't put senlan, they don't put the noodle in. But here, when since we came to USA, some people start doing different way. So this one is no noodle in it. So we're gonna wrap it. Put add a little bit more in here. And then I'm gonna show you how to wrap the so this is I have one foy and banana leaf and then I have the chicken all the ingredients in here then you Wrap at the tip of it. Hold it like this. There you go. And remember. If you're gonna steam, make sure your um, you add water in your steamers and let it um, boil before you add your. Thing because you want the thing to be all um, ready for you when it gets the water gets hot. So I'm gonna keep doing this. This depends how big you want it and how you know small you want it so and then and then this is how I do mine so I'm going to show you one more with the say if you want pepper in it some people like chili pepper in there so do one more. And then you add the chili. You want to add chili in there? You can add chili. Grab the end and hold the tip like this. No, you don't need toothpick. You don't need to. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna. Me and my daughter's gonna continue finish the wrapping, and then we're gonna show you the next step when we steam it. This is all packed and ready to be steamed. Okay. And okay, can you put it in the steamer for me? I'm gonna have my husband put it in the steamer. The water is boiling. So I'm gonna steam it. So I am gonna steam my this in one hour. And then after that I will bring it and check it. So I'm gonna let it steam for an hour. Um, we had I had two different. I have the one with no noodle and one with noodle. So I did it for I steam it for an hour and and this is how it's going to be like. This one is with no... No noodle. It's watery because, um, you know, when it gets a little bit um, cooler, it should stick together. But some people like it watery, some people don't. It's because if you don't like too watery, just add more um, the soak of the sticky rice. Instead of that half um, half cup, you can use one cup of sticky rice. And this is one with the noodle. You see this one? Because it's uh, um, the noodle soaked into it. This is with all the um, livers, gizzard, and the chicken. You see? 
You know how it is? You can eat this with sticky rice. So I'm gonna taste it with sticky rice. One with the one with no um how you dip it like this and you put it in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm, very good. And then um, the other one with noodle, same thing. I like Mm. Mm. Oh my god. It's um, so good. It tastes... You can taste the herb, the spice, the um, ingredients. It's not too... To me, I like it this way. My, mine didn't turn out salty, just the way it is. And if you like a little bit, um, a little bit salty, you can add a little bit more fish sauce, salt, or um, badak. But... Um, after this is done, if you make it a lot, you can freeze it up in the freezer. Whenever time you feel like having some bring out from your freezer and steam it. Steam it back in like 30 minutes and you're ready to go, you know. And it's good with sticky rice. It's good with um, jasmine rice. You know, some people like it plain. Some people like the way it is. My, um, um, Mokai looks like one with no noodle and one with noodle. So don't eat me selon. Don't eat no selon. So like I said, makin khao nam kan mother mother makin khao mok makin mokai nam kan khop jai la lai chana hao jeo kan mai.